and understand this. What we are doing is far bigger than death. Wait, this virus is not deadly. It looks pretty damn deadly. Tell me this. What have you done today to earn your place in this crowded world? Exactly. Everything I do is a cure for our current situation. And how's it a cure if you're killing people? I told you it does not kill. That was the amazing epiphany we had. We didn't have to kill to accomplish our goal. We intend to stop human reproduction for three generations. The busy, endless global assembly line of babies will grind to all. You're sterilizing people? Huh? In the first five years, we'll start to see major birth rate declines as teenagers vaccinated stay at their childbearing years. You're controlling the future of human civilization. Is that what they're calling it? It's a very nice euphemism for a species that is replicated like a contagion across the planet, killing all other species in its wake, except things that are cute like puppies or koalas. You hate people that much? On the contrary, I love people. The hell? Why would doing what our government or citizenry is too spoiled or self-indulgent to do? We are saving ourselves from ourselves. Halting overpopulation. A hundred years ago, the global population was 1.7 billion. 2011, it reached 7 billion. People live too long, die less often. In 2050, they say it's going to plateau. We'll blow past 11 billion and then slowly begin to decline. Global warming, mass extinctions, food, water shortages. All these problems can be boiled down to one thing. Overpopulation. At 1.7 billion, we can be as decadent, self-indulgent, 10 billion. We have to live strategically. We have to live modestly. What about what this does to to people, society? Salvation. We can form a new society. And you're beta testing it on Americans since we're the worst. Mm -hmm. The grand social experiment. Terrible violent death.